Is a luxury supermarket really worth it? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Whether you've seen the internet sing its praises or watched the good people of TikTok wandering through it like a museum, Erwan mm. has us intrigued. Yes. Have you heard of this place? It's described as a luxury grocery store, but the prices are bloated enough to make Bezos blush. Oh, you Bezos know what I'm blush. saying? Our question is, is it somehow worth it? Yeah, why in the world are people shelling out $17 for something called a cloud smoothie? We must know! It's time for, this little piggy went to Air One and cried, wee, 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 spent how much on granola? You're about to eat a series of different grocery store foods, each from three different price points. Cheaper, budget-conscious food from Walmart, okay. middle-of-the-line grocery store food from Kroger. We're a fan. And food from none other than the trendiest, most wallet-busting grocery store there is, Erewhon. Yeah. You'll attempt to put them in order of cheapest to most expensive each round, and you'll get a point like for each correct guess. If you can rack, rack up at least seven points, you'll both win a shopping cart filled with 50 bucks worth of Erewhon groceries. What? what? Teammates, man. Yeah. Teammates spending way too much money on groceries. That's us. Yeah. You ready for some egg salad? I am. I'm hungry, man. You want the one with the flag in it? Well, I kind of, I'm hungry. So I'm really motivated to eat the one from Erwan, which is obviously this one, right? Well, Isn't it? I I think it, we might. It looks fanciest. We uh, no, listen. I think we might learn that it's that it's like deceptive. It's just expensive. It might not be that it's better. Okay, well let's start. I mean, over that here. might be. I mean, this one looks so cheap. Have you eaten at Erwan before or shopped? Uh, one time I stopped in there out of curiosity and I bought some chocolate. I've had Erwan chocolate. Christian and I went in there once. I mean, it's it's a little strange. A lot of people who are seem to either they came from somewhere else where they wanted to be seen, or they got all done up to just shop and be seen. Uh, and That's as good did looking I. people in there, though. as did I. That's been good looking people in there. I spent eighteen dollars on a jar of peanut butter. Yeah. Um, this is so basic. I would like to add some pepper to that, but it's good enough. Oh, this one. This one is even more basic, is it not? I mean, it's just white bread. Yeah, but yeah, there's there's like less egg. I like the egg salad on this one better though. It's sweeter. It's got more mustard or something. Yeah, it's better. I like the first one. I, I'm realizing I need more more egg salad in my life. Oh, I, that can be arranged. I like egg salad, I got but a, I never eat it. I got an egg salad guy. This one's got what this fancy, what kind of bread is this? Sourdough. Sourdough, and then there's- Lettuce. There's a whole sheet of lettuce on it, and then on this side, I mean the stuff in this thing just is gonna boost the price. Can you tell us the prices of these? In a second. Like, you don't wanna tell us yet? Kroger does really good Silence. stuff. <laughs> okay, if we were going with the one that I think tastes the best, it'd be the middle one. This one looks the fanciest because it's sourdough bread. There's some other stuff going on. You can buy this bread at Kroger. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And make this sandwich. Nothing here looks fancy. It's egg salad. But one of them is priced higher. Hmm. Do you wanna go with the one that looks the fanciest or the one that, do you agree this tastes the best? Yeah, I actually do. So, I mean, if I was going by looks, I would do this. You just move them down. Just, yeah, just, they work. just slide them on down. But if I was going by taste. Switch those two. We'd switch these two. Look, why don't we give them the benefit of the doubt that they are doing something that's better there and it tastes better. Yeah, let's do that. It goes against all logic, but yeah. it just tastes better. You locked in? We locked. Because yes. I can tell you the prices after I tell you the answers. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad you're talking to us again. Yeah, thanks, Stevie. Appreciate that. I'm gonna start from the cheapest. The cheapest option is on the yellow plate. Oh, man, That's wait. Walmart for $3. We made it the most Walmart expensive. Walmart did it right. Then the middle priced option from Kroger is on the red plate for $7.99. Okay. And the most expensive from Erewhon is on the green plate for $15.67. That sandwich costs $15.67? <laughs> yeah. 
Good gosh. Well, it doesn't taste great. Walmart <laughs> is the star here. And this in this particular Yeah, and I do like battle. I do like this one as well cuz there's so much egg in it, but Okay, so we were 100% wrong. But we did learn that what looked the fanciest was the fanciest. As long as you learn something from your mistakes, Take your lesson. you can move forward. Anybody want some chowder? Chowder? Anybody want to spend a lot of money on some chowder? This chowder over here, Link, that you have to reach a long ways for, on the just the looks of it, it's pretty fancy because it's got uh, oh. bits in it. You know, it's got green bits in Look it. Look at the size of that clam. Look at the size of that clam. It's got green bits in it. It's got clam bits that are very easy to see. Oh, a big old tater. Is it hot? Is it real hot? Did it look like it was hot? <laughs> hey. When I ate it with no problem at all. I didn't even react to it. Why is no one answering me today? <laughs> Do you think it was hot? No. You think it was real hot? No, see how easy that was? I'll warn you, man. I warn no, you by you my won't. reaction. No, you won't. That was okay. This was this is some gelatinous. Thick. This is some thickness. Oh, this is, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to tell a clam chowder. I liked that first one. I liked the chewy big old clam. And it wasn't too hot. Is that one too hot? This one is more clammy. Oh. It tastes like it comes from a can. They didn't do something to that clam. They it's like it just crawled out of the shell yeah. into my mouth. They didn't declam it enough. You yeah. gotta take some clam out of the clam. That hurts, man. Maybe that makes it more fancy. This is so white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know, man. So white. That one's almost too hot. You didn't warn me. That one is, well, I didn't think it was that hot. This one's classic. This is what you, like. if I sat down at a seafood restaurant and you gave me that, I'd be like, yeah, that's clam chowder. It's the right color. Yeah, but we're, this isn't about a it's, restaurant. It's creamy. Is this sitting down at a Walmart, a Kroger, or an Erwan? I'm pretty sure that the red is Erwan. I mean, it's like the clam pieces are so big, and it for the clam to be that big and for I it not to be clammy, that, on the same page. that's a really good clam chowder. Going back to it again, it's really, really good. It's so good, good gosh. It feels like it, there's some TLC <laughs> that went into it. But Walmart knows how to make an egg salad. I Kroger think, is so good typically. Kroger can make some good stuff. I think Kroger is in the middle, man. All right, so. Because that one's better. We're ranking them based on how we like them, assuming that they get and more we'll see expensive. If maybe, maybe, maybe Walmart showed up again. I don't know. Um, do we want to change something though? Because, yeah, Walmart could. This was too, like, filmy. I just. And super clammy. You said a clam jumped from that ocean into your mouth. I know, but that could make it more frou frou. All right, I'll lock in. Okay, starting with the cheapest option. It's in the green bowl. Walmart's See? market side brand clam chowder, uh, seven seventy four. It's good. And then the Kroger. middle price See? is in the yellow bowl yeah. Yeah. from See? Kroger. Home Chef clam chowder at eleven seventy one. It's too clammy, Krog. Which means the Red Bull has Erewhon's chowder for twenty one sixty two. It's good. Was it that good? Was no. it worth the twenty one? It's not worth that. It, it's not worth that. It may be the best clam chowder I've ever had from a. It's just as good as any like restaurant clam chowder. And I mean, you might. I don't know if I'd want to spend that much at a sit down restaurant for it though. Oh, just I mean, how much clam chowder is is that though? It's Thirty two ounces for for each one of those prices. So they're all all be, comparable because of the the Walmart is decent enough. The Walmart's actually better, yeah, like we said, better than the Kroger one in this situation. Walmart's bringing it. To yeah, I, I ain't paying for this, Erwan. Yeah, you won't see me. I'm gonna go with this. Link, these are chickens. I mean to tell you these are chickens. Uh, I feel They're like the a, rotisserie. a good test is ripping off a, a leg. Yeah. And then maybe <clears throat> diving into the breast. So. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna rip off a, a, wing. a wing flat since you're gonna get a I, rotisserie, I'm not a huge fan of rotisserie chickens because like this one, they all tend to be like undercooked and like, unless you're eating the outer layer, it's not good anymore. What, undercooked? What are you talking about? What, where are you getting your rotisserie chickens from? Wherever this one's from, I guess. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Go in here. That could be the Walmart deli. Everybody's kind of got 
rotisserie chickens down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't that hard. That's pretty dry. That's really dry, actually. Mm. With the second one. Oh, that really comes apart. Look at that. I don't think we're gonna taste much difference in these first two because they look the same. Yeah, one's a little drier, but. It's a smaller chicken, the first one. It means a different supplier, or maybe it's just a different chicken. I'm kind of laying these out so I can go back to them. I think the second one is significantly better flavored and ten more tender than the first one. It's definitely more tender, but I like the flavoring of the first one better. Well, it's like more buttery. To and, each his own. Right. And then this one. This one's really holding on, holding on. Not, not cooked too much, definitely. Oh gosh, I have the whole quarter. Oh, don't, wow. Don't look at me. Don't watch me. Some people can't stand watching this happen. Dude, if you don't like watching guys rip chicken apart, I'm sorry. Just listen to us, but please don't click away. Um, At least get through the ad. That one's cooked better. It's a bigger chicken. But I gotta say, flavor profile, and again, this is just kind of like whoever, you know, spice profile is, is not necessarily a judge of quality. It's just personal taste. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm gonna let you speak because I got something big to say. And I don't want I don't want to make it hard for you to follow me. This one tastes the most like a chicken. This one is amazing, dude. It almost tastes like there's charcoal in the bottom of the rotisserie. The reason I think this one is Erewhon, I actually don't like the flavor profile as much, but it's more unique than these yeah. feel like the stock ones that you get in a little bag at Ralph's. Which it is, almost tastes grilled, and and that that's that's fancy. Now, it's a toss up here. It truly is. Kroger. Yeah, I, you know. Walmart, slightly overcooked. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about these two, so I'm just gonna go with what you're saying. What does it say about me that this is like peak entertainment for me? <laughs> yeah, you've got the right job. Yeah. Um, Seriously? Well, yeah, this is the reveal here. You're not being facetious? No. Because the cheapest option is on the yellow plate. That's Walmart See? for six nineteen. See, I was right. The middle priced option is on the green plate. What? That's Kroger. Kroger got the best chicken for eight ninety nine. So the red is the most expensive from Erewhon for eighteen dollars, and it's the one that you thought was from Walmart. I well, the one thing that I did say is that. I like the flavor profile, but it's some smaller chicken and it's dry as heck. Look at that, look at it, look. You, you've overcooked this chicken, Erewhon. So so Kroger is, is the real story today for this round. Go ahead, I think the real story is the fact that- Which is green, right? 18, eight, he said 18? Yeah. yeah. An $18 chicken is overcooked and undersized. Boo! <laughs> y'all gotta do better than that. Don't I mean, miss the mark, y'all. Air one air phenomenal. Uh, oh, you're talking about the phrase that Matt Carney wanted us to say? Yeah. It was air one phenomenon. So why don't you oh. say, why don't you say something like. I said air one phenomenal. Why don't you say. Um, Wasn't it? I'm not really buying into the air one. I'm not really buying into the air one phenomenon. Me neither. Hey, next time you go to Walmart to pick up an egg salad sandwich, um, before you do that, go to sport.com because they've ranked all of the best great value foods sold at Walmart from orange juice, spicy brown mustard. Check it out, sport.com, all right? You want some carrot cake? I do, Holmes. Uh, which one do you think is from Walmart? <laughs> Maybe the one with the carrot that says, buy me. It doesn't, well, that's a, that's a pretty little carrot though. But what what is that? Just, what is, what does Walmart believe about its customers that it thinks putting a little carrot on the cake is going to make them want to buy it? Huh? You think about that? It hey might man. be. It might be from Erewhon. I don't know. Let's taste it. You want to go there first? Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of the. I like green icing. And, and orange icing. You just dissed the carrot, and then went for the carrot. I like green icing. I'm Walmart's target audience. <laughs> The icing is 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 uh, stout. That That's is, some good cream cheese icing. Mm, That's not a good cake. Well, we haven't tasted anything else. I mean, I said the icing, not the cake. I don't think the icing is is coming strong enough. I was, I was trying to, I was trying, trying to, to be nice. 
Trying to be nice. Now, what, what is that nasty stuff right there in the carrot cake? Nuts. No, that's a grape? Raisin. What's that, a freaking blonde raisin in my carrot cake? This might be too fancy for me. I bet you this is from Erewhon. Um, there's almost like a ginger quality in there. This almost feels healthy. Like a root spice. I don't like that at all, dude. Yeah, it's like a health cake. Erewhon's known for healthy stuff, right? Can we... Mm, That's gotta be Erewhon. Maybe? This one, I'm, I like to go for the, get the most icing possible. I mean, look at, look at the... That's so stout. ...thing on that. Look at all of that design. Mm. Somebody worked hard. Now when you That's go- That's a good carrot cake. When you go to Erewhon, there's like, there's like, there's more workers than there are people shopping. Like, behind that deli counter, they're like making burgers and steaks and who knows what else. It's more than half of the store is just where employees make stuff. That's good icing, Link. That's a good carrot cake. Wow, it's very cinnamony. I think this is Kroger. I think we know we love Kroger. I think Erewhon is trying to get too fancy. Mm -hmm. They're putting like healthy ingredients, the carrots for Walmart. Now Steve, yeah. we, we can't win, but. We're feeling good about that. Did you tell us if we if we get all three of these right, we still win? Is that what you said, or did I just stream that? She didn't. I think if you get all three of these right, you can look at what you didn't win. <laughs> all right, that's fair. Fifty dollars worth of Air One. We'll just look at it. The cheapest is on the green plate. Yeah, yeah. This for two forty four. This is child's play. The middle. It's on the red plate, yeah! Kroger for 539 and, and Erewhon's on the yellow plate for $10. Yeah, Erewhon's overshot it. I will say, $10? if you're eating cake for health reasons, uh, eat, <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, eat the Erewhon cake. <laughs> All right, let's see that uh, grocery cart. What we could have won. You're saying this is $50 worth? <laughs> That's it. So we got what in the world? Oh, dag gummit! We weren't supposed to be able to touch it. We were supposed to look at it. Well, now we're doing it. Now we're look. What? Oh, is this the thing? That's the cloud smoothie for seventeen dollars. Oh, we could have. Oh, we could have tasted ooh, that. Taste we could have tasted taste that. This is a uh, that's germ a, yeah. warfare. But. Yeah, for ten dollars. Oh, you could have gotten healthy. What is it? Hand sanitizer? No, it's a shot. You drink that. Oh, it's good. And then what? What? What is this? How That's much? fifteen dollars worth of almonds. Fifteen dollars worth of nothing but almonds. They're not even salted, toasted, or to tossed. You sell those door to door for sixteen. Make a dollar a jar. That, that could have been ours. Oh, man, just look at it. That's all you can do. I'm still gonna go to Air One, but I'm a. I'm not gonna take any money. I'm going to Kroger. I'm just gonna take my camera. I'm gonna keep going to Kroger. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name's Bethany. And my name's Dylan. And it's our one and a half year anniversary. And we just hiked up to Grotto Falls in Tennessee. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin the, the wheel, wheel in mythicality. mythicality. You guys will stop celebrating half anniversaries eventually. <laughs> in, in fact, that's probably the last one. Uh, not, Congratulations. Not, not because it's gonna end. Congratulations. Because, <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I, yeah, congratulations. Click the top link to watch us taste some original versus new flavor snack matchups from with Witted from Sport in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the weather thing Cali's gonna land. If you shop at Walmart or Trader Joe's, you need to go to sport.com first for recommendations for the best foods to buy there.